here we are. Ooh. Ooh. That turned into a little bit of an expensive <laughs> shopping <laughs> trip, didn't it, dear? Don't dear me. Yes, dear. <laughs> Got loads. We'll show you it all tomorrow. We're going to come pick it up in the van and uh, well, got we'll show you everything that we bought then. On this cold, grey, dreary day, we are out in the van. Yay! Yay! We're not going to the tip though. <laughs> I think we'll go in the van and just go to the tip. Really? <laughs> anyway, we are going to go and collect the furniture that we bought yesterday. Yay! Let's see what there is. Ooh. Couple of chandeliers, a marble topped unit, a couple of tables, another marble topped unit under there, and this thing, but I'll let Claire explain what that is. Oh, another couple of bedside tables there. So, uh, plenty to keep me busy. I heard my name called from afar. Yes, I was going to let you explain what that thing is. I will. I will take it in the house and I will explain it in a very thorough manner. Good. That's what I hoped you would do. Because I didn't recognise it as what it is, but you did. Yes. Because I read stuff. <laughs> Words. Yeah, rather than <laughs> just instructions. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. So quite a good haul anyway. I'm quite glad that that didn't slide off the top on the way home. <laughs> It'd have been a bugger, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, you can tell it has moved. <laughs> yes, at least it comes off. Yeah. Yay. However, I have just come to open the box and there is no instructions. Here is somebody who has built these shelving units before. Or I can show you where the instructions were in the packaging. Well, where were they? Well, they were between a couple of these boards. Uh, well, why did someone put them on top? It's all in French. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look at the pictures. You don't need instructions. Look. My husband has decided to stay with me and help me through the duration of the exercise. I cut short the video of assembling these shelves yesterday. It was getting a little bit stressful. Building flat pack furniture together is not sometimes one of our strong points. Uh, I'm back in the hallway this morning. Just to let you know that before all of these shelves came in, it did have a second coat. It just needed it and it smells so great. The other thing was my electrician kindly came in here, disconnected this, and put up this lovely strip light, so I can see. It's amazing. However, the big thing, there we go, there's the big thing. And look at all of that racking. Wow. It's awesome. One half is racked. Uh, I'm going to put some shelving along here when I get to it. Typical electrician leaves a mess behind him. So yeah, let's go. Let's unpack my kitchen. Yay! Uh, last look in here for now. And one last look in here before I start. <coughs> one thing that I am hoping to find in this lot is my set of car keys for a car I no longer own that I think I packed somewhere in here one night in England, about three years ago after a couple of drinks. I've been looking for the car key ever since. <laughs> I actually checked 
on DVLA and the car has been, I think, written off since, but there is a key, maybe in here. It's raining, which should give me a good opportunity to come and check that the work I did here is working and um, we have no drips, no leaks, the new bit of drain pipe which is the top, the big pipe there, that new section, is all working absolutely fine. Not one drip. So, very pleased with that. Uh, the other pipe is, the, the small one, is going to be wastewater from showers and baths. And we had a couple of comments um, that pipes were going downhill or uphill the wrong way. Um, I've just drawn, with the aid of a spirit level, the straight line on the wall there, and this pipe goes that way, which it should do, because it goes that way, back into the house, and then out through to the drains for the town sewage system. This pipe, it goes downhill in this direction, where it goes through the wall here, and then ends up going out into the road, um, which is what happens to the rainwater in this village. So uh, both pipes, you'll just please be reassured, are going downwards in the correct direction. This morning, I'm upstairs with my wonderful husband in the Maison de Maitre and we are just going through and double checking where everything is going to be placed in these bathrooms. Where Nick is at the moment, he is currently stood in the standing in the shower, which will be a quadrant, a quadrant shower in the corner. Behind him, the wall will be boxed out slightly so he can fit the pipework into there. For the fireplace, there will be a recess in the boxing for a giant mirror. Down here, where you can see the white, there will be the original roll top bath, central to the window. Over here, where we have this square and this item from a well-known company on the floor, there will be the sink unit, one that we bought from Truck the other day. And as with all good rooms, you want the uh, the lavatory or the lav or the, uh, <coughs> the shitter in the corner. Along this metal bar here, can you do a bit of a Carol's ornament? Right. Yeah, yeah. Along this line here will be a partitioning wall double insulated so nobody can hear one another pee in the other room and then sir over here i'm guessing this is where you'd like to put the shah the shah big rectangular shah here shah what is here basin what type of basin to be discussed hmm. and then what's this over here this is the the toilet for this room. I think that's that's what you're basically wanting me to come up here and just double check where all of this stuff's going. Something like that. Why so, as Claire was just telling you, I uh, have marked out roughly where the shower tray is going to go on the floor, and you can see it's got a curved shape to it. Um, and these shower trays need to be um, mounted on a plywood base. Um, so I'm going to go and get the bit of plywood cut to size and then I'll be able to make sure it's positioned exactly because that joist is annoyingly in the way. Um, so I need to position things quite carefully here um, and cut the shape. And so I'm going to go and get the shower tray out of the storage area where it is and uh, use that to, to mark the plywood to cut it to the right shape. And that shower tray is in storage in the pigsty. But what, I hear you ask? Well, let me show you. In the pigsty, just hiding behind the doors there. Obviously, when this was a sausage factory, 
they used to keep, kill, and then cure pig meat. Don't need pig side to keep them in. And that is in here. So there's, oh, it's chilly in here. Right, so there's four pens, basically. This is all made of cast concrete. Quite sweet little gate to keep them in. They've all got sort of troughs for the feed. Um, and there's the shower trays. I'll grab one of those out. Got some shower doors and a bath and various things in here. <laughs> bit gutted one of the first boxes I have opened contains this can of lager that my husband felt the need to keep from his university days that has exploded and gone all over the box why why uh it went off in 1994. <laughs> Honestly, it went off in 94. He has saved this for years. And I think the whole thing just finally exploded. And yeah, it's gone. Just, it's just like a furry hell in here. So there we go. Yeah. That's just delightful, isn't it? Furry bloody hell. Yum. I got no idea what this is. I don't know why this is in his kitchen stuff. I'm going to ask my husband later. Let's see if he knows. There's a curve coming around here. That back edge, it should go to the back edge. Right, so basically, put it down and lift it up. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Right, um, I measured, I marked, I measured. Appear to have cut the bit of wood. I'd say that that's got like... That much too small. I oh know, it's got like a three mil overhang. Three mil. What? Three millimetres. Look, here. No, 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 no. no look. Well, but... well, I'm just going to have to go and cut another piece, aren't I? Well, yeah, no, you've... Measure twice. 
<laughs> Try again. Five minutes later. <laughs> So the shower tray base needs to be cut, which I'll do that with a jigsaw, um, and that is where the waste hole will be. And that is where the uh, shower tray will end up sitting on top of that bit of plywood. I need to cut the floorboard out there to allow the waste pipe to go through. Um, then obviously along each of these walls, it's gonna be boxed out with insulation and plasterboard lined up there. So that is where it's going. shower waste um, I need to obviously glue it together uh, once I've done that then I should be able to fix that back down um, and then the bath waste I can connect on that runs along to here right so I just um, have tested all the waste drains away doesn't seem to leak so i'm quite happy with that um dogs are nagging me for a walk now so uh, i'm going to break off and in the morning get that plywood fitted down on the floor anyway quite pleased with what i've achieved today so yeah back at it tomorrow don't get upset there's been an accident Something's exploded in one of the boxes. Now it's caused a mess, but don't worry, I've cleaned it up. But I am really, really sorry. Are you? Yeah. I think your can of Leningrad cowboy from 19 that went off in 1994 exploded. And it could have been wine of the week. <clears throat> yeah. Don't worry though, you still have ah. Olvi. When did that go off? Probably about the same time. Uh -huh. Yeah. December nineteen ninety four. Give it a go. <laughs> no. It might be all right. Okay, while we're here. I have a question for you. <laughs> what is what is this? Um, it is a. <laughs> hang on, hang on. What, what is it? What is it? What is this? Uh, a. Um, let me just remember. <laughs> a hard drive. It's a hard drive. Yeah, but they've they've come on a bit since then. Why do we have this in with kitchen equipment? Well. I'll go and put it with other obsolete electrical equipment then. Why don't we just spin it? Is it because it's got a wire attached to it? Mm. Mm, wires. I love my wires. Do you actually even know what's on it? What would happen if you plugged it I in? Think I, I think I did back up everything onto here once. I love that sink. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'll, 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 I'll have a look at that later, you've got me intrigued. Well, don't leave it on my flat surface, take it to your flat surface. As my husband would say, I'm making progress. I'm still going through the pile. 
I've got some stuff out on the flat surface and I have this massive thing of boxes to break down. Yeah, one step at a time. It's going well. Well, we're out for a walk a little bit later than normal and oh, the Christmas lights are, are still on and it's gone halfway through January already. And some icicles and a blue star. A red star on a green hanging basket bracket, I think. I don't know. The tree behind me is absolutely full of starlings. Actually, you should say the bamboo. Ready? Bang! And my favourite Christmas decoration of the village the Christmas banana. start a fire with hot sawdust <laughs> bit of a shame if that happens um, I'm just cutting a couple of holes there for uh, water pipes that will come down along and through to um, over here which is where the bath is going to be fitted um, once I've got those done I will screw down the floorboards and get on with laying down the plywood for the shower tray uh, yeah, it should have cool, cooled down enough by now. Done it now. That's going nowhere. I don't want it to go anywhere. So yeah, making progress, but uh, plenty of hours left in the day. So yeah, just gonna crack on. Good morning and welcome to day two of unpacking. Yes, there's a big dent in that, isn't there? Uh, over here I've still got another shelving unit that can come out and go through in the corridor um, and yeah I'm just slowly slowly working my way through everything um, there's things that I'm trying to put with other things at the moment like things to do with cutlery and plastics and all sorts really um, yeah there's there's quite a bit of stuff here and through in here, believe it or not, is starting to look and be a bit more organised. There is method to my madness. I've not finished yet. I'm nowhere near finished. But wow, it's just, it's so nice to see things again. And it's just like I've been to a massive shop. <laughs> um, there's things that I've pulled out of boxes that I have been looking for for months. And... Yeah, I'm just I'm just in my element of getting it all organised and put away and you know, things go with other things. It's just so oh, it's magical, isn't it? He's got his tool room and I have my tool room. I think we're both happy. We're both happy at our, our different respective rooms. It's just so great. <laughs> Oh, I've 
I've uh, started to fit the metal rails, the floor and ceiling channel into which the upright slot. Um, yeah, making sure they're all nice and perfectly vertical and yeah, it's going all right. I'm just going to crack on and get more done. <laughs> fireplace here um, have a recessed mirror with a light coming down from it uh, so that's what the uh, metal work is that I've just screwed to the wall um, I'm going to now get on with uh, crimping the uprights in position <laughs> a bit above the top of the fireplace recess that's that wall pretty much done so quite pleased with where I've got to um, getting on for that time of day when the dogs want to be walked so I'm out of here there's not been many breakages but some things sadly haven't survived the journey oh well and it doesn't look like I've really got anywhere, but believe it or not, I have moved an incredible amount of stuff out of here. Roll on day three. <laughs> okay, well, I've just um, started off today by finishing the boxing above this recess here um, so that once it's insulated um, or any cabling I need through any pipes I need to put through there I'm going to be able to plasterboard that and box it off um, I've just just tried out stuck a couple of panels of insulation on the wall over here I um, think that will be fairly good job to get done make this room a little bit warmer because it's a chilly day again today um, anyway, what I'm actually going to do this afternoon, um, just as I boxed out along that wall, um, stopping at the window, going back there, um, I'm going to replicate that on this side of the room. I need to take the skirting board off, I want to drill a hole to get a cable through um, in case we want a heated towel rail on that wall, um, and then get the metal work fitted up so just keep me out of trouble for a few hours ah. finding this a couple of days ago I've got it into our kitchen and I'm ready to show you how this works maybe some of you will know what this is and some of you probably won't know what this is now 
I have been looking for one of these for a little while. There is a base with four legs. Uh, no, it's not a miniature coffin. Um, although, yeah, I can see how it kind of looks like one. Um, it's not a school desk. I will take you over to it. I will open it. Any guesses, if you don't already know? It is a dough proving table. I've seen these before and they're quite rare to find now because they're in people's kitchens and they just sit there and look pretty. And yeah, it's not in the best condition, but I'm gonna give you a demo of how it works. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a good wipe down just with hot soapy water. Even though I've washed it and I've dried it, I'm actually going to line it with tin foil. You would put all of your ingredients for bread making into the box, mix it all together, knead it and leave it overnight. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to mix everything in a bowl and then I'm going to put it in here, which will be roughly the same thing. I'm doing it in quite a small quantity. And you may be thinking, what bread is she going to make? Well, France baguettes. I'm using T55 flour, which is plain flour. Really, I should be using a strong flour, which would be T65. I don't have any in-house at the moment, but I do have this. So I'm going to go with what I have. Also, I have no live yeast. I only have the dried yeast. So let's see how this goes. It could be quite interesting. And if you are making baguettes at home, you want to start making them the day beforehand. 200 grams of flour, 16 grams of dried yeast, and 200 ml of warm water to activate the yeast. And take a fork and make that into a batter. And there is my batter. Um, I am going to cover this with a uh, cling film into box. It's covered in cling film as I don't know whether the top's ever had woodworm. I don't want to risk it, you know. Just want some bread, not some extra protein from whatever. Um, and I'm going to shut the lid now. The lid would have been to keep warmth in the box. The box would have been kept next to the fire. The fire is on. The box is near the fire. Once your dough is proved and ready to go, you'd actually use the top to knead, roll, and form your dough into whatever shape on the top. Um, so yeah, that's the start of my dough. Fire's on, and I will come back to this mixture tomorrow. Let's see what happens. And as my dough is starting, I've come back into here for day three of sorting this room. <laughs> The top rail done and the bottom rail done. So I need to cut a few more verticals to lengths and then yeah, get them in position and crimped up and that'll be that little job done. <laughs> Wow, 
Right, well, I'm quite pleased with today's work. Um, as you can see, I've now insulated both sides of the window there. Um, yeah, quite pleased with that. Um, lots more to do, but for today, that's it. Yeah, very pleased. chilly morning today um, I'm going to start by cutting the wooden base for the shower tray for the other room uh, it's a different shape it's rectangular so it should be a bit easier um, so yeah I'm going to cut that to size now <laughs> Right, well, here's the bit of plywood. Um, so just like I did with the other shower base, I need to cut a hole for the waste pipe. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, that was fairly straightforward. So that is gonna go on the floor over there. Uh, so yeah, first thing I need to do is have a bit of a tidy up um, and cut the floor, cut the hole in the floor there um, and then I'll be able to fit that with pipe work to connect into the pipe that I pushed through to there. So, tidying up time. Well, good morning and after a night in the dough proving table, my dough base looks like this. Let's add some things to it. To my mixture, I am going to add 50 grams of butter, 300 grams of flour, 10 grams of table salt, and 70 milliliters of lukewarm water. And now I'm going to knead it all together to make a dough. I now have my dough. I've covered this with cling film, and it's now time to go back into the dough proving table for an hour. And off we go. While the bread's in the dough table, I'm back in here. Um, I'm really pleased. I've done really well this week. Um, yeah, it's been a huge job to do. And do all of the usual stuff as well, of course. Here is where I am finally ending this week. So I'm really getting somewhere now with all of this organisation. I've got plates... Um, I've got different types of cutlery, uh, catering, larger items, all sorts, all ready to go. It's a bit like a cooking shop, I know. It's nice to see everything again. It's nice that everything now has a bit more of a place and I can find it again. I know it looks like a massive amount of kitchen equipment and it is. Bear in mind that we have a kitchen to fit out and equip in the Maison de Maitre and then eventually this sausage factory one day will be my kitchen. Um, so this is the reason why I've kind of saved all of this. Also, if you've got a guest house and you're catering for 14 people, you will need plates and cutlery and things like that. So, uh, yeah, all in one place, all nice and neat. It's nice to see it again. It's editing day, so it's time for me to go and sit in a dark room and do this week's video for you. cut 
some of the plaster work up at the ceiling there, the coving. Um, I haven't cut enough. I think I need to cut a little bit more just to get this shower tray further up to the wall. I'm boxing out from the wall and I'm going to be putting a, a wall just kind of like that uh, with insulation, um, which will kind of warm it up and soundproof it a bit in there. Um, but yes, yeah, so I need to get up there and get some of that plaster down. Dusty. Ten seconds to go and it's time to take the bread out. And look at that, it's actually worked. That's amazing. Wow. Brilliant. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to shape the bread into baguettes. I'm going to use the top of the table. Traditional. Okay, so now I've shaped my baguettes and I've got them into a pan. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cover them with cling film. I'm going to put them back in the dough table. Um, and I'm going to leave them to prove for an hour. In they go. The thing with doing bathrooms is everything is heavy. Everything. Um, I've just lifted up the shower door, which actually comes in two boxes because it would be stupidly heavy if it was in one box. First box didn't have the instructions in it, so the second box should have the instructions in. And the reason I need that is I'm building the wall. I don't want to build it too tight to the shower tray, because then we have plasterboards and then we have tiles. So the overall width is going down and down and down. And these doors, if, it, if it, the gap is too small, it won't fit. So I need to check what the adjustment range is and work backwards to work out exactly where to put the side wall. So, yeah, the second box I brought up, 33.9 kilos. Now, Claire will probably be able to translate that into pounds for our uh, American viewers. Uh, let me just tell you, that's heavy. Ta -da! This is what I needed. 1385. So I only have that much adjustment on it all, so I better get it all right. A bit tricky because we haven't chosen tiles yet, so I don't know how thick they're going to be. That'll be fine. down and I have just taken these out of the bread table. Woohoo! Right, now I'm going to score them with a knife and I'm going to pop them in the oven 220 degrees for about 20 minutes. Let's see what happens. Ooh. 20 minutes later and it's time to take these out. I've now got that wall done. Um, so I'm going to get the hole cut through the floorboards next. Whee! <laughs> right, well, I've cut the hole in the floor. Um, I've just been going through a bag of all the bits of pipe I've got, and I'm not sure that I've got everything that I need to connect up the waste pipe. Getting to dog walking time in any case, so I'm going to call it quits for today. So uh, there you go, quits. 
Hi, and welcome to Wine, Wine of, of the Week. week. And uh, well, this week we're <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, this is a bottle of wine that we bought at the Christmas market in, in the village hall just up the road just before Christmas. It's made... Don't shake it. Oh, it's absolutely full of sediment. Full of sediment. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't think refined would be um, a word to describe it, but... Pour away, dear. It's actually tainted the glass bottle that's clear pink. <laughs> so let's see what it does to the to us. <laughs> hey. So how have we done this week? I think we've done really well. How do you think we've done this week? Hopefully you think we've done really well. Well, if you have liked it, please click like. And if you're not yet a subscriber, you can become one really easily. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter or on our website at www.theexpatbitches.com Have you had a lot of coffee today? I have actually. You, you've just said all of the words. Sorry. <laughs> it's alright. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know what I'm doing that either. <laughs> you can watch us in slow motion. <laughs> Click on settings and you can get the playback speed if you didn't catch anything of what I just said. Secretly, you've been possessed. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Vinegar. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we will see you <laughs> next time if we're still alive. <laughs> oh, you can have that. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs>